A man by the name of Notch had an idea. A cave game, a sandbox seemingly endless, an adventure that had everyone saying, just one more block. This man, that game, those blocks have brought all of you here to celebrate what has become Minecraft. It began as a simple idea. Sorry, sorry, but you know you should use the old logo because it's a bit more, a bit more evolvy, I guess. Right, fine. The game had a randomly generated world filled with grass, dirt, and an awful lot of stone. You could destroy blocks and place blocks. The spark was there, but it needed more. Yeah, like squids. Stop it. Shortly after, more things appeared like trees, water, clouds. Lava. Yeah, yes, lava. The world looked a little more natural. This was the creative mode in single player, but something was missing. TNT. No other people. Tests began with a multiplayer version. People could now play together. New items and blocks were also added. The game was beginning to take shape. Wow, really skimming over the details there. Do you want me to go over all the patch notes? No. The wiki page won't load anyway. Moving on, the game now had multiplayer and creative single player. But there was another element that Notch wanted. Survival. Work began on making the game more challenging. Zombies and skeletons were put in, but they could not attack. Sheep and pigs were added too. Whoa. Notch also fluffed the coating of the pig and it turned into a creeper. At this stage, this version of the game was labelled Classic. 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 Brilliant. Then from Classic came the Indev version. What on earth does that mean? No idea. Not important. Dynamic lighting was put in, a new sound engine, and more importantly, crafting was introduced. Then came Infdev. Sorry, what? Infdev introduced a big feature to the world, infinite terrain. No longer was the player constrained to a square world, but now it stretched endlessly. Ore was randomly placed in the world to discover, and other tweaks and introductions were made, like 3D clouds, minecarts and tracks, and also dungeons. Then, the first major version of the game was released. Not like released released, but just available? Yeah, pretty much. Fridays became secret Fridays where random things were added. The first being redstone, which allowed complex circuitry to be created. What, like that thing? No, that no, that's ridiculous. Snow worlds were added, so were boats and cows, along with a whole host of new items. Oh, and slimes. Oh, those bloody hopping things. Ugh. Then, in Alpha, the survival mode was brought to multiplayer for the first time. This allowed for players to battle monsters and survive the night together. Or just go around gathering creepers and then have them explode on your mate's house. The next big patch came on Halloween of 2010 and introduced the Nether. This threatening place was full of zombie pigmen and the eerie cries of the ghast. Not to mention a considerable amount of lava. The game hit beta. Lots of new things were added in beta, like dispensers, note blocks, cake, redstone repeaters, and beds. The lighting also got a smooth upgrade. Wolves were now on the prowl, and you could tame one as a pet with a stash of bones. Weather was introduced, including snow, lightning storms, and rain. Oh, look how cute that wolf is shaking off the rain. Aww. We finally found ourselves in 1.6 with the introduction of maps. A new way to navigate the endless blocks of Minecraft here. 
things got pushy in 1.7 with pistons, leading to some clever contraptions. 1.8 gave vastly improved combat mechanics, allowing the player to sprint, draw back their bow, and land critical hits on their enemies. A new terrain generator was added, along with quirky NPC villages and mighty strongholds. And now comes the end. A true challenge awaits you in this unforgiving realm. But that is something you'll have to discover for yourself. The next page is yours. Shh. <laughs>